Oh, what's up guys? This is the Broke Foreman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, we're attacking the Italian capital of Rome. Uh, they've got plenty of troops coming in as reinforcement, but we're not going to really mess around with trying to stop them because ultimately they're so weak, it's not going to make much of a difference. They've got plenty of mortars though, so we need to make sure we deal with those um, pretty comprehensively. Um, but let's get to it. So what you could do is try and split your forces to try and intercept the enemy reinforcements before they come to battle. That's an entirely legitimate strategy. You can go for that for sure. Especially with this army, it would work quite well because their army is quite weak. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to fight this like a normal siege. Uh, almost the reasons that make it so... The reasons that make it so good to intercept that being their armies are so their units are so depleted make it almost not worth doing because they're so depleted i guess if you were not min maxing exactly but you were um you were you had some sort of something critical to do on the campaign map then it might be different but in this case because i've got my steamrolling juggernaut up into position it's not as worthwhile me doing that kind of thing compared to just fighting regularly. Okay, let's set up my howitzers. Split them up a bit. Cavalry, get up. Okay. Just start to clear out some of these how it's the teams and just start to pick apart the walls are you firing good so yeah now come the enemy reinforcements Running, walking, yeah. When they cons considering they consist of such small units of infantry, it's not really. We're not going to really worry about it. Are you actually firing? No, you're not. I didn't think you were. Nope, you bugged again. Interesting. Fire now, you actually pivoted your guns ever so slightly. Oh, curious. Right. Okay, limber them up, get them ready to move. Okay, so one team can keep working on this unit, and this team can start working on this unit of howitzers. It's a bit of a, not a gamble really, but it's more of a a risk. I have to move my cavalry teams sort of side on to the fortress so any gun that fires has a much bigger target. Okay, let's... Teams forward. One more volley, and we're going to get our breaches made. Get ready for as soon as these guys switch to firing, we're going to start running. Firing, there we go. So there's our breach made. Bring up the cavalry. Heavy horse guard artillery training at that section of the wall now. See if that actually works. 
Same with these units. But there we go, that's all their reinforcements in that they can currently ma manage. <laughs> and we've begun our attack, so we should be absolutely fine. you guys this way with the unit of Cursier. We will just be able to tag them. Right for them give the carabiner. These guys just push forward. Skirmishes themselves aren't a huge deal. Especially, actually, I make sure my carabiner kind of trot into the enemy. Don't charge. Okay, set my line up. Guns are still impacting the breach. Excellent engineers. Scale the wall. Line infantry. Sit here, ready to hoover up any. Cavalry attacks, you men charge the wall. Excellent. Riflemen get over here. Enemy generals come out to play. Yeah, they don't like the. Uh, Don't like me getting up on the wall. Okay, the carabiner are going to go over there to cover that section of the wall. Heavy cavalry push forward. The crossier go for this general's bodyguard that wants to come out and play. The okay, human get over here. Everybody wants to stop me from getting up the wall. Okay, they're dealt with. Heavy cavalry push forward and attack the regiment of force. You men drop into square in front of the breach. Carabina, stay away. Heavy cavalry. That's right, kill the regiment of force. Okay. You men push into the breach. Men push in as well. You might not win against the Firelock Arm Citizenry if you're scaling the wall, but you'll do enough damage. Push forward into the enemy guns. Engineers charge down off the walls, my sharpshooters secure the gate. Okay, fusiliers broke. Which was understandable. The cavalry, QCR. You can try and barry away in as well. Um, riflemen, try to get up here. Infantry push through. Yeah. Infantry attack down off the walls. Fusiliers are already back, so let's just get them in a position here. Howitzers, switch to round shot, bombard the mortars. Line infantry attack those cavalrymen. Actually, fusiliers. Go. Actually, no. No, fusiliers can fight. These rofemen are going to secure the gate and then run over and secure this gate. Enemy cavalry is coming in. Charm shooter secure this gun position. Here you go, 
Rifleman, go secure that. Where's my carabiner? Make sure the fire it will off, otherwise that's going to cause carnage. Get my cavalry to push through to the centre. Ignore that one infantryman in the back. More fusiliers, attack the carabiner. This has been a real messy battle again. Just woke up. <laughs> Excellent. Go on, sharpshooters, open fire. Oh, Carabiner about to take the gate, but they, well, they were. No, don't run this way. You might have to come over and attack. Attack these fellows. Uh, my line, regiment of line broke. Okay, let's start to form up our blocking positions. Carabiner, just get over here. Good artillery, just attack the corner of this position here. You men go secure that gun position. Oh, it's a ceasefire. Form square there. Kill the la uh, kill the last of these mortar troops. Good enemy general. Okay, the gate house is ours. Oh, you're waiting on a handful of your men to push forward. The sharpshooters will be able to exact a bit of a toll on these troops as they push around, however. Carabiner fire at will. Give them a volley. You men cease fire. Excellent. There we go. The gatehouse is ours. Luckily they weren't going for my general. Although they are going for him now. Bring the general in. Form up two lines of infantry. The arm says you defeated my defeated my infantry. Not surprising, attacking the walls like this with small numbers can be really quite dicey. Apart from that though, their reinforcements are useless. Nice. But yeah, that's it for us. Rome has been taken and that is a... We only have one region in Europe that does not belong to us now, I think. Nice. Rome's been taken. Okay, so you men are going to reform. Let's get building here. We should be okay once we repair everything. I think we've got... Yeah, there we go. There's a, a light galley that can garrison Rav Ravenna. Right. So it's your in... And Genoa. Well, actually, hold on a minute. Genoa's got Dragoons anyway. If I pull you guys out, you can handle that. And Turin it doesn't quite like it. But if I move one unit of conscripts over... Maybe two units of conscripts over. There we go. So Luca Comin can go up here and join my India invasion force. As can Nicola Castiglioni. You also push up. You here could probably stand to get rid of the conscripts if we're going to send you... Well, we're going to send this army through Persia. So really you need a unit of cavalry plus two light infantry if you can get it. 
Okay, the unit of SARS. Then. Just sharpshooters? Ah, oh. <laughs> recruit all the pikemen we can recruit. African Lion for mercenaries will take 13 turns. There we go. When you're in Naples, we can probably stand to disband a large portion of this. Good. Okay. Then at Baghdad. Okay, four more units. Realistically, it's going to be four units of line infantry. Okay, so you're, yeah, you guys are ready to push Rome. Rob well, Rome, Esfahan. All of our religious agents are on the way down, so probably, I mean, they're going to be not a limiting factor, but we're going to want them to come, come down and say hello. Okay, then up here... Bit of a weaker fleet. Our main fleet is being built. So you need one ship, which you're getting. So do you. So do you. You need a bunch. You need two. Sweet. Okay. So we can probably afford to send another first rate down here. I mean. This is very much unnecessary, but you know what? We've got the economy. And then over in the Americas, the main thing is we're one turn away from taking Santa Fe. And then that will defeat New Spain, and then all of our armies in South America can push forward. Get building in Texas. Good. You can probably start to try recruit some dragoons. Yeah, you don't like that, but one batch of dragoons should be enough. And preemptively, let's just start moving you guys up. Although you're going to be, well, you're going to stay where you are actually, because just in case they decide to go for us, uh, this force go back to Caracas. You probably can't leave either, because the pirates still are really... Yeah, the pirate essence is still strong. Okay, let's hit end turn. Yeah, I want my priests to get into Esfahan and the Persian territories so that we can start converting them before our troops get there. But then we end up... Um, we can end up trying to minimise some of the religious unrest right off the bat and then we can maintain our aggressive advance i'm going to keep recruiting sixth raids out of tricomaly to get ready to start raiding the mughal coastline workers on strike stuttgart not anymore they're not Mm, new town emerges. Fort Frontenac, Upper Canada. Let's get a church school here. Mana, New Andalusia. Just get a, just get a uh, industrial building. And then more upgrading. The more of this we can get done before we end up invading India, the better. Because India is going to have a lot of territories that we can upgrade. Because the AI is never normally that good at maxing out their economy until the really late game. Okay, you guys are both done. Roads are done. Okay, so we're out in Mexico. Excellent. So you men push up to here. These guys can take a bit of time, that's okay. Okay, steam engine factory. Let's move a brig over to Tampico. Good. 
Guatemala. Let's give my agents plenty of walking orders. Again, it would be a lot easier to send them by ship, but I'm not. I'm, I'm happy to take a, take a bit of time here to start and make sure just that we've got everything in position ready for the attack. We don't have to blitzkrieg our way through unprepared. We have no we have no reasonable um, cause that would need us make us do that. Okay, steam engine factory. Okay, in Quebec, I want them to be upgrading so we can get a better. Artillery, infantry, the whole shebang. So that's another batch of units done. Okay. More naval recruiting done. That's great. That'll all get over the next turn. Let's upgrade the buildings here in Rome. Minus six, minus five. Signore, i vostri ordini. Yeah, let's try to go for a batch of dragoons. Everybody's going to move forward. Um, you know, get rid of that unit. It's just going to be sat there otherwise. Although that being said, ironically. So what I want to prepare for is uh, the, the 13 colonies kind of getting destroyed and then scattering around and raiding. In which case, some support would be quite nice. Yeah, they really don't need to be a super powerful army. But if I've got the units to recruit, I'm going to do it. Yeah, let's recruit that garrison guard unit back. Let's get the fusiliers back. Good. Nose for trouble. Nice. Okay, let's send another first rate down here. There we go. Ships and ships and ships. Good. So over in the Americas, this is the main thing we want to sort out. Attack Santa Fe. If I take my cavalry out, I can attack the city with these guys coming in as reinforcements. So let's do that. So the reason why that works is because the army as a whole is slowed down by the artillery. Got my cavalry have plenty more movement. So your components of your army can move further than the army as a whole can move, because you can only move at the rate of the slowest unit. That's why things like demi cannons can be so bad. It's because their <laughs> movement's really bad. There we go. But then we just take our Hussars, trot them over here. Run, Hussars! Okay, I think a bit of time just to set everybody up. So what you could have done, what I could have done is, um, rejigged my formations so that certain things would come in first and that's completely fine but in this case because i'm on the offensive the ai doesn't really have as much incentive to come at me 
Uh, one second, guys. And I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, let's speed up time a little bit. So my mortars, the mortars are still shooting at my hussars, even though they're out of range. So these helps us determine where their where the limit of fire is. I might even just form them up straight like this. You guys are limber and fire at will. Guns are firing. I'm just gonna speed up time till I get everybody on the field. These 12 pounder howitzers are set up inside the little village. Might even put you guys in here as well. Artillery. As long as everybody's on the field, whether they're going exactly where I want them to go or not, that's okay. There we go. Right. All my actual line infantry units. We need to make some headway against those howitzers pretty rapidly. Could send my cavalry forward in a big rush, highly possible. In fact, I might do that now just to complicate the enemy's targeting procedures. I might actually bring these howitzers down here on the right, bring these forward on the left. My gunners are still engaging. Have they actually achieved anything? Killed two men, killed no men. So now they're starting to reveal themselves. Push forward, real risk, because the guns, they might be a bit exposed now. Skirmishers and light infantry go together in a big bunch. So we managed to hit one of their guns with some of my artillery. Come on. Shattered. Shattered. Cavalry. Recover. This is probably the best spot. Both these gun teams are bugged. That's why I've got so many units that can shoot. There you go. You man, recover. Try vlogs in the try vlogs in the Oh, 
pursuing us. Interesting. Clatter into my infantry if you like. Now it's Sir Unlimber. General's gonna get picked apart. Well, the rain's in his favour at the minute. You can clatter into my line if you like. Now it's a uh, switch to percussion shells. Let's try the thing. Quick climbs, too short range. Actually, quick climbs about the same range for you. Never normally bother with percussion shells. They're normally not really good enough to justify the, the squeeze. Well, that was quite a good hit. Cavalry push up on the left. Okay, now all the lines engaging. Gunners up here and get unlimber. They're going to focus on the enemy cavalry on the flank. Job can focus on the tribal auxiliary, or that is their general unit. Move my cavalry forward, there's some hidden units over here. Go on, skirmishers, we're going to put a great volley into the flank of that unit. The U men at return. Sars go for the enemy general. Cavalry, my heavy cavalry, flatter into their flank. We downed a few hussars, but now we're in. Cavalry supporting these shenanigans on the flank. My hussars are winning against the tribal auxiliary. Auxiliary on the flank, fold this flank back. Okay. Push forward, or they watch out for the stakes. Besides, try to charge the native bowman auxiliary that are hiding in the trees. Coming in. This artillery can finally unlimber. So the commander of my of this uh, small force has been killed. Okay, that left the right flank's been defeated. Push forward. My hussars might actually go down to the Pope Auxiliary now. Bring my heavy cavalry over to assist. How it says switch to round shot. All my gunners engage. That unit of militia.
Go get him Swiss Grenadiers. So my general to factor into the irregulars. There we go. Push forward and take the ground. Which units come back, but the entire the entire Venetian army is storming towards them. Form square. Regular skirmishes. Send my Swiss grenadiers in to help. These grenadiers, actually, they might hold them off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, here. Artillery, all of you, ceasefire. Come and hit this native muscular auxiliary. There you go. They finally got caught up with by my by my line. They're impetuous. Look at this guy. Where's he go? Poor soul. Nice. Okay. Nice. Very good indeed. <laughs> good. That's New Spain dealt with. So now we can start to move up some of the um, units we've got in the Americas. So you can probably immediately leave Santa Fe. Yes, you can. Excellent. You men replenish. We can upgrade the Chihuahua plantations. We can upgrade the roads. You're on your way to Yankton. Okay, this army. Can you get. Can you, does this actually. Does this crossing actually work? Either way, you might go up ready to jump onto uh, Upper Louisiana when the time comes. Be already on the move. As are you, although you're probably going to go by ship now. Now that the Spanish are dealt with. Ludovico Castro. Okay, I might even. Well, I can't actually get you up to call up to Quebec. Let's do a bit of a ship switcheroo. Excellent. Okay, you're ready. Push up the front towards. Up, up through the American territories. Uh, this army here needs replenishment. Well, they can do that at their final location, although I'm not going to worry about dropping you guys off in a port. You guys can just disembark straight onto the coast. Good. And you guys can leave Panama and do the same thing. Well, let's probably drop you off here. So you can take out the Cherokee in Louisiana quite easily. Okay, let's make sure we are protecting these ports though from any opportunistic raiders so 
So you still... Oh yeah, you can't go just yet. Montreal. I could really do with you guys easing up now. Minus six. Because then we can attack Niagara and Cayuga at the same time. Then we're really going to start boxing in the 13 colonies. Um, so the Cherokee. Friendly. They have no allies though. So we can probably just declare war. Don't call our allies. Because you have no allies. Let's push another army up to that front. Couple, we've got a few armies here. They're going to be ready. Ooh, American infantry mercenaries. That would be cool. Which means we can't recruit that from what we've currently got. Maybe the military academy? Nope. Hmm, well. I might come for that. Okay. Oh, we've done all this, haven't we? Just pick a random one towards the bottom. Yep. Good. Workers on strike at Württemberg. Not anymore. In Bavaria. Not anymore. Central Italy. No, they're chill. Path blocked Ernesto. Not anymore, they're not. New Mexico's ours. Sweet. Okay. Let's hit and turn. A lot of moving parts to get into position. <laughs> Especially as, as we start to transition into um, hostile territory there. Their spending on roads may not be as good as ours. Good. Number of fleets are now fully upgraded. Don't worry, Persia. Once you lose the first handful of your border territories, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> Demanding me to give them nearly a million to be their protect for me for them to be my protectorate. No. Uh, no. Let you let let's let you go into the uh, let you go into Chikasa, so at least you can fight one one good battle. Before your empire is destroyed. Let's. That seems fair. New town! Panama. Okay. Can you leave Texas yet? No. Again, it's an independent. It was a. It was a. Uh, its own country, so they are still quite unhappy with the idea of being ruled by somebody else. Dagestan, get you seminary. All oh, this is being built. Two ports from Mexico. Reykjavik, it's a new governor's building and a new and a new port. Nice. Oh no, we've already done that one. Okay, Weaver's Cottage, upgrade. Okay, we are getting up the tech tree on a lot of these things, so they should start being more more um, towns that reach their full potential and no longer require um, any upgrades. Now all these in Italy. Minus one. Another batch of another batch of cavalry. Then let's take. Questa è una nave, 
signore. In attesa di altri Pronti, ordini. Signore. This army is going to join the front line in in uh, Asia. Okay. Seamen. Good bulk of the Ardabil front. Okay, you're up and ready to go. You're going to go in with this army as a pair. Okay, done all of these. You guys move up. Are those are your sharpshooters? Yes, they are. The Michele Epolito can go join the invasion force. Let's get my. Okay, let's start moving my fleets over into the Bay of Biscay. Just so I know how many I've got. I don't need an entire fleet per invasion army, but it looks like we're certainly going to be. It looks like we're going to be on, on the way there at least. Okay, you're going to him, you're going to them. Tremendous amount of firepower. Apologies, sneeze. Right. Three more turns to yours, Dan. You've still got a lot of turns to wait for your ship to build. But still, that's seven, seven fleets, and we've got five. At least eight are on the way. In marcha, avanti. They're not going to know what hit them. We are massing. There's even more coming. Good. You hire some mercenaries because it looks like we've got the opportunity to get some. Let's send this cavalry unit around to the artillery fort. Yes, nicely cavalry heavy army. Uh, right, okay. Back over to the Americas. You try and infiltrate Pelico. Giovanni. Attack the Cherokee at Chikasa. Because, I mean, it's not a massively awesome army, but at least it gives them a bit of honour before we destroy their civilization forever. And then that'll be another faction destroyed. <laughs> and then we're really starting to wind down the number of enemy, enemy nations we're up against. And when we're in a position to hit, the Iroquois will go for them as well. Nice. Okay, it's not actually as bad as map for the enemy. But we do have lots of indirect fire artillery, so it's not necessarily a huge advantage for them. Okay, it's my line. Glance forward slowly. A collection of oddballs on the right flank. My general is going to have to be involved in scouting duties. My main gun line is going to drag up behind my infantry line. Show my artillery and fire at will. That's not a terrible position for my guns. Yeah, the 
their guns are unlimbering. Who are we aiming at? Oh, one of their native artillery units. Okay, let's send my some heavy cavalry over to deal with the enemy artillery here. Runway infantry at the last minute just to make sure they get into position. Volleys into the armed tribesmen. There we go. We've uncovered more enemy troops. These poor armed tribesmen. There you go. Okay, let's send my heavy cavalry around the flank to go deal with the other artillery unit. Especially as they are limbering up. Oh, here they come again. My gunners are on. Gunners are in position. Oh, you guys pivot ever so slowly that way. Native American warriors have realised what we're up to. Give them shift click orders just to run around. There we go. Unlimber from the height on the high ground behind my infantry. You're gonna do great. You got caught by the enemy infantry. Just run through. Everybody fire shrapnel shot. Just killed some of my guys there, but it did not behind my line. Rockets away. Slightly lower angle shot this time. Another unit out here. That's hidden. Native American warriors just getting beat up. There they are. Get them! They're encouraged because the general is alive. If he's alive, he's just not here. Damn decent number of my cavalry, man. Move in, pikemen. This guy's back strength. He's not only is he holding single handedly like an 18 foot pole <laughs> with a flag on it, still got his sword in his right hand as well. Oh, 
Yes. There's another unit that's come back. Two units that have come back. Artillery, rockets, fire at will. Perfectly timed. Powered to cease fire. Oh, hello. Is get him. Yeah, and surprisingly, you managed to make mine. Oh, hello, there is a, actually a few of you. Poor old mercenaries. None of the bows did quite good. Oh no, mercenaries are coming back. Get on the edge. Well, they, 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 they didn't go anywhere. Charge on into the bowmen. Push into the fog of war, because they're here somewhere. Go get him. God, they came back with a god. Everybody's coming back. Grenade. We've got something to say about this, that's for darn sure. Yeah, you go sit up here. Let's bring my cavalry back because they're really knackered. They're going to go. When they break, they're going to break hard. Shattered, nice. Okay. Just bring them back to my line. And my artillery, switch to round shot, fire a will. Yeah, because they're all so interested in this unit. Okay. more like it away you go that was a bit bit of an odd battle but a, a victory nonetheless nice so that's the Cherokee destroyed you men replenish let's build a mine let's destroy the meeting hall and start to build some Catholic churches here cool okay now to the cook Richard Solly and a bunch of American mercenaries, lots of American mercenaries, not much actually. Then again, there's a limit to what they can recruit because they don't have any big cities. You continue on your march down towards Yankton, which you might, there's usually there's a stack of guys on this bridge. Done all this. Traits gained, successful mission, traits gained, region, region captured. 
lots of good stuff. Um, no, entry in Pombali. We haven't been continuously recruiting, so we need six units of infantry. Then we'll just start all over again. Same with these guys in sixth rates. But I think we are at a point where we can. Well, then again, actually, let's do one more in turn so we can get some of the priests into a better position. Mm, lots of troops here. Ardabil. Yeah, I imagine that once once we do declare war, our um, capabilities in the trade zones will be quite abysmal. We'll probably get our trade fleets will get knocked about quite a lot, but not that we really care. Okay, I'm not on strike anymore. New town emerges, Monterey in New Spain. Okay, right. Natural causes. Luca Comin. No, he's been with us since t day one, effectively. Abramo Conti is our new guy. Okay. Economy, economy, economy. Good, good, good. Just keep building. Not that we really need any of this, I could just stop doing all of this right now. I just, I really like, I really like the economy side of this game. Okay, iron workshops upgrade. Drill school in Greece, which we don't really need, but just keep upgrading. Steam for mines, always. Good. This is why we are a benevolent ruler. We are constantly upgrading. Recruitment report, great. Agent executed. Oh, they found, the Americans found him. Uh, your path is blocked. Nor is yours. I guess I want you up here. If you're going to position it already to jump in, jump onto Upper Louisiana when the time comes, you might try and infiltrate Williamsburg. Uh, cotton or tobacco? Cotton it is. Just so much production. Nice. Although we're only trading with three countries, but the trade our trade with the Mughal Empire is worth seventy-two thousand a turn. Because we think oh, I suppose we are making lots of money from actually trading stuff, but our long term trading partner bonus is nearly thirteen grand in of itself. So if I were a betting man, I would imagine we'll get intercepted. Yeah, yeah, they've always got a stack here. Not a problem. We've not been ambushed. We've been intercepted. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Plains Nation's peoples. Cheers, everyone.